So I'm back with another video on do-it-yourself diamond paintings and what to do with them after you've completed your project. And here as you can see I've been busy trimming all of my diamond paintings and they're just sitting here waiting for me to do something with them. And for this video I'm going to show you one idea that I've done with my diamond painting that is in lieu of putting them behind glass and sticking them on a wall. Although that's a lovely thing to do, to hang them up, to show them off, I'm trying to use some of mine in a more creative way. So give me one moment and I'll be right back to show you what that is. So here we are, I'm back, and this is what I decided to do with one of my diamond paintings. If you can all remember from one of my past videos, I had indicated that this particular diamond painting was one that I wasn't very satisfied with because I didn't like the way that it turned out and it didn't look anything like the picture itself. But I got creative and this is what I came up to do with it. I took these boxes that are um, little trinket boxes or something that you can do yourself. You paint them yourself, they come on finished and so basically what I did was I painted them whatever color I wanted and I tried to use maybe you can't see it with the lighting here but I tried to use the coloring in the box to match um, with the paints for the canvas and as you can see there's a little side clasp here for storage and after I painted the box with the just acrylic paints, I used a sealer, and it's a gloss sealer. You can see how it shines, and um, I did it so that it would match the shine from the canvas itself and our diamond resins that we love so much. And so after that, I trimmed the canvas down and um, I didn't have to trim anything extra off of this canvas. It was r just whatever was the white part. And then I flipped it over and I applied regular Elmer's glue to it, a generous amount, and I used a paintbrush to make sure it was evenly distributed on the entire back surface of the canvas. Then I applied it to the box and making sure to um, press it down and smooth it out both ways so if there's any excess glue it came out to the edges and then I wiped that off with a damp cloth. If there was any spot that I thought might need a little extra glue because um, you know you want to make sure all of your edges are down nice and tight so they don't flip up and so that's what I did. And what do I use this box for? Is my essential oils. And the box comes with out this little shelf in there. So I actually constructed the shelf and had it put in there. And then of course I painted it white and I use all my essential oils. And they would not stack fit enough that I could get three shelves for it so that's why I have to use some of them on the side and then on this side I just put bubble wrap in here instead of making a lip on these because you know because you would basically put it in like this so that it holds behind the little lip and if I have larger um, bottles they would not fit inside the lip S like this one here it's a little bit too big and it would go out beyond the lip and I'd never be able to fit it in. So that's why I just decided to put the bubble wrap and it holds it nice and tight so nothing inside moves. And that is what I've done with one of my diamond paintings that I actually never thought that I would do anything with. And it turned out pretty nice. So I hope this has given others 
some creativity that you can do more with your diamond painting than just putting it behind glass and hanging it on the wall. And I will be back with another video as soon as I have more ideas of what you can do with your diamond paintings.